What's going on, YouTubers? A couple of things. I, I, I saw a couple of videos. Uh, one is from Back Country Prepper, and he was making a reference to Kaz's video or Fourth Di Fourth Dimension, and also to Guns and Gadgets. I think so. I'm gonna leave a link below to the Guns and Gadgets because he was kind of clear on his. Plus, he actually provided some footage from the. Uh, I guess a senator in Virginia, West Virginia, that was complaining that a citizen uh, showed up at his house. And the way he was explaining it, the senator, uh, he exaggerated the story and said he had an assault rifle and this and that with an extended magazine. And I'm like, a shotgun is not an assault rifle, even if you consider it to be a, a, a weapon of war. Um, and then he had a sidearm. But watch that video uh, here's my thoughts on that because uh, there's gonna be more stuff coming out pretty soon and that is you know that the problem is and, and and I'm gonna keep going back to this because I think we'll eventually get there maybe uh, that's just my thought on it is sanctuary states that that are gun free gun friendly uh, states that have no issues with the Second Amendment so keep that in the back of your mind as I'm, as I'm talking about this. Here's my thought. The problem is you have, I mean, cities like New York, Chicago, LA, California, you know, th those, those type of cities or states are, that are so heavily uh, populated, I don't think they'll ever be gun-free zones, gun-friendly gun to a, um, you know, advocate. So if you are a 100% die-hard, die-hardcore Second Amendment, you probably should not move to those states. If you're, if you're not there yet and you meet someone or marry them or there's a career opportunity, you might not want to go there because you're going to face those battles. Uh, there's a couple of people here on YouTube that live in those upper states, and I don't know why they live there, but I do get it. They have a family, they have establishment businesses, careers, their, their feet are planted. Um, they're not going anywhere. So they're just gonna fight the fight to the best they can. Number two, um, if you are a politician or a citizen that is not big on guns or have any consideration on the idea of people or citizens owning guns, you probably shouldn't move your residence to an area that is a gun to a community or environment or population. How about go somewhere else? The problem that I find is that there's too many people that grew up in one state and they go off to the military or they go off to college and they're done with that military or college and they're like, Hey, I like this town, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay here and plant roots and have a wife and have a family, and they don't and they're not wanting to adapt to the environment at hand. Meaning, if you go into an area like I would never go to the Middle East and then say, well, I don't like that everyone's here is Muslims. I don't like that there's so much dirt and sand in the air. I don't like your flag. I don't like that you're anti-gay change your way of living for me since I'm coming here. No, it's me adapt to their their way of life. And that is the problem in, in America that <clears throat> people have this idea is like, no, I can bring my ideas and the way I want to live to your neighborhood and I'm going to change everything about it. So you should move out. Instead of me saying, hey, I might not want to go to that city or that county or that state uh, because they're just there it's not for me even though I like the area the environment the life we're gonna have to get back to communities we're gonna have to get back to the idea that that area that part of uh, of, the, of the country is all wilderness wildlife outdoor living hunting fishing Second Amendment I'll go visit it as a tourist but I'm gonna take my ass back to the big city where we don't we don't deal with guns What's wrong with that concept? I don't, I don't understand. Number three, and I'll try to wrap this one up. Um, this morning there was a shooting in my area. Um, 
at an apartment complex. Um, I don't know the details, but apparently in, a, in the apartment complex, um, there were three people trying to break into someone's apartment. I don't know if it was drug related or they were, they knew they had money or they just randomly knocked on the door and said, we're going to fucking rob this house, this apartment, or if they knew those people. Um, but they, they attempted to break in and, uh, the homeowner or one of the homeowners, uh, one of the apartment owners, I should say, or renters, um, happened to have a gun, pulled that thing out and started popping them guys. Two of them died. Uh, one, uh, uh, two of them died. One is in the hospital. So that's kind of good so they can get the whole store. Hopefully more details will come out and we'll find out what happened. I'm sure those guys, when they got shot at that moment, they were thinking, we fucked up. Um, maybe we shouldn't have broken into this guy's house. And the idea, I'm going to say two things about this. Number one, I heard this on the radio. And one of the guys was saying... The first thought of the DJ was, uh, hey, uh, family member or home apartment renter, um, was that gun legal? So keep that in mind. Instead of saying, hey, that's good, they defended themselves, they have the right to. The second part of that is, and this is a question for all you guys out there that are 2A uh, Second Amendment holders or protectors or advocates of the 2A. I, and I think this is the part that divides a lot of us up because I, I tend to, and I do my best to follow the rules. There's right and there's wrong. There's left and there's right. You're either doing it or you're not. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of very by the book because it just makes things very simple. And in the, in the aspect of the, of the Second Amendment, a lot of people will say, it says, will not infringe, period will not infringe. You have the right to protect yourself. You've been given that right. If you're on U.S. soil, you're a United States citizen, or you're here in this country, you have the right to defend yourselves. Will not infringe. The question that I want to ask you after all that is, where do you stand on the idea of being able to defend yourself? Whether you're a law-abiding citizen, uh, church-going, family-loving, good person, just all around good person. Or maybe you're, you're a decent citizen. You're not perfect. You have a past. You're an asshole at times. You don't really contribute back to society, but you pay your taxes. Or three, you're here illegally and you don't, you're not a citizen, but you're here in this country, right? But you're on the soil of the United States, so you have, you know, you kind of fall in that on that gray area where it's like you're here, but you're not really a citizen. You don't really have the same rights. So did you did you occupy that that firearm legally? And if you didn't, will they get in trouble, or does it not even matter? And they're just like, hey, you defended yourself. You have the right to. You're not going to be charged with murder, but we are going to get you on the on the possession of of, of an illegal firearm. Uh, what is your stance on that? Um, because, again, going back to my idea, you're either legal or you're not. And, and and this is me. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying that this is the way it should be. I, this is just me and my thought. If you are a legal citizen, right, and maybe you have some minor past, in the past, you, you paid your debt to society, your record's clean now, you're, you're doing the right thing, you're living, you're paying your taxes, you're following the laws, et cetera, et cetera. If you um, fit in that category, then you have the right to own a legal firearm and protect yourself. Or B, are you on the notion or the idea that, hey, once you F up and you commit crimes and you go to prison and you and you continue, continually... Um, break the laws and cause crime and all that, should you still have those rights to protect yourself? Or should you just say, hey, you're fucked. Sorry, you messed, you, you lost that privilege a long time ago. Let me know what you think. I know that the gun thing is always a complex issue. It's never cut and dry, and I'm going to probably get some slack on this. So let me know what you think. Red right out.